Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is for the new moon in Aries and solar eclipse. This is supposed to be a good time for new beginnings, big events, turning points in your life. So we're going to be doing poses that involve the root chakra to help keep you grounded through all of these changes and also the solar plexus to give you the confidence to take on these changes. So let's go ahead and bring ourselves into a nice comfortable seated position. You can be in a kneeling position like me. You can sit cross-legged or whatever is comfortable for you. And we're going to use the Ganesha Mudra which is supposed to be good for giving you the confidence to overcome obstacles and big events in your life. So we'll start with our hands at heart center and then rotate your hands. Let your right palm face you. Let your left palm face outward. And then we're going to slide our fingers together, making a lock here, kind of a seal. And just rest your hands here in front of your chest. Go ahead and close your eyes down. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Take a second deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now come back to your natural breath. We're just spending these first few moments preparing our minds and our bodies for this new moon in Aries and solar eclipse practice. But we hope to build the confidence to take on big events and big changes and to be excited about them because change is good. Take an inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Bring the hands to heart center. And we're gonna do the circle of joy. So take an exhale, interlace the fingers, start to extend the arms forward. Round the spine, good. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, release the hands behind you. Inhale, bring the hands forward and back to heart center. Good, a couple more times. Exhale, interlace the fingers, press the hands away. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, release the hands behind you. Inhale, bring the hands forward and to heart center. One more time. Exhale, press the hands forward. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, release the hands behind you. Inhale, bring them forward and to heart center. Good. Exhale, release the hands. Extend the right arm out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, drop the right hand down to the ground. Let the left ear fall to the left shoulder. Getting a neck stretch here. If you'd like, you can gently rest the left hand on the side of the head. Just using the hand as a weight. Good. Inhale. Exhale, release the left hand. Extend the left arm out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand down. 
Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Right hand can gently rest on the side of the head. Good. Inhale. Exhale, release the right hand. Let's roll up to hands and knees in a table position. Fingers spread nice and wide. Walk the hands back a couple inches and we'll rock back and forth, giving the wrists a stretch here. Just making sure they're nice and stretched for any vinyasa, down dog, any holding we're doing. Let's move around in a circle clockwise. Then we'll switch directions, moving counterclockwise. Good. Come back to neutral. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let's work into Marjari Asana and Bidalasana, cat cow. Take an inhale, flip the tailbone upward, lift the chin, arch the spine. Press down through those hands. Exhale, round the spine. Bring the chin down to the chest. Tuck the tailbone under. Good. Inhale. Lift the chin. Flip the tailbone upward. Arch the spine. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin down to the chest. Good. Let's do a couple more rounds. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Good. Bring the spine back to neutral. Let's bring the big toes together, knees wide. Float the hips back towards the heels. Extend the arms forward. Melt the chest down. Come into Balasana, child's pose. This is a great grounding pose. Uh, take an inhale. Exhale, start to walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. You can even bring your left hand on top of your right hand. And then breathe into the left side. Good, inhale, exhale, start to walk the hands over to the left, same thing, rest the right hand on top of the left, melt down into your child's pose, on this side, breathe into the right side of the body. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands back to center. Float your body forward. Let's get ready to come up to down dog. Tucking the toes under, lifting the hips up and back. Pedal your feet out here. Or if there's any movement you like to do in down dog, you can do that. And then when you're ready, bring your gaze up in between your hands. Bend your knees. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale, come up for a half lift. 
fingertips on the ground or hands on the shins. Nice flat tabletop back here. Exhale, fall down to your forward fold, Uttanasana. Good. Let's tuck the chin to the chest and roll up to standing, one vertebra at a time. Sweep those arms up, inhale, hands meet. Exhale, the hands to heart center. And then down at your sides, come into Tadasana, mountain pose. It's another great grounding pose here. Palms facing outward. Knees are soft. Shoulders over hips, hips over knees. You, you can rock back and forth from the balls of your feet to your heels. Just feeling that grounding down through the feet, feeling that connection to the ground. From here, we'll sweep the arms up, inhale. Lift the left leg off the ground. Take a big step back with the left foot. Bend it to the right knee and rotate the back heel down flat. Drop the arms out wide. Come into a Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. So right knee is aligned over the ankle. Make a line from the front heel to the inside arch of the back foot. Extend the arms out from the shoulders. Check the alignment of the arms here. Good. Take an inhale. Start to straighten this front knee. Pivot both toes to face the left side of the mat. Let the hands meet above you. Toes inward, heels outward. Inhale. Exhale. We'll fall down to a wide leg forward bend. So you can let the fingertips come to the ground. Or you can come down lower. Bringing the hands flat. Or walking the hands through if you like. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Start to walk yourself towards the front of the mat and come to a lunge position. So right toes will pivot to face the front of the mat. You'll come up on that left toe. And then we're going to step our left foot up to meet the right foot. Bend the knees here and shift your weight into your heels. Let the fingers sweep the ground and then extend the arms up for Utkatasana, chair pose. Weight is shifted into our heels here. Good. Spine is long, inhale. Exhale, lower the hands down, lift the hips. Come to Utkatasana, forward fold. Good. You can stay here in your forward fold if you like. We can add a vinyasa. So we'll plant our hands down in front of the feet. Step or jump back to a full plank or a modified plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, elbows tucked in tight. We'll lower the chest all the way down. Come down to the belly. Bring the tops of the feet flat. Elbows still tucked in. Inhale, just lift the chest for cobra. Or... Straighten the elbows out. Lift the hips as well. Coming up to up dog. Inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Come to down dog. Taking a couple breaths. Then when you're ready, we'll bring our gaze up in between our hands. Bend the knees. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to Uttanasana. Forward fold. Then we'll roll up to standing. All together. Bring those arms with you. Inhale. Exhale, the hands to heart center. And down at your sides. Good. We'll do all that on the other side. So back in our Tadasana, sweep the arms up, inhale, lift the right foot off the ground, big step back, lower the back heel down flat, let the left knee be aligned over the ankle, make the line from that front heel to the inside arch of the back foot, 
Extend the arms out from the shoulders. Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Good. Still breathing here. Start to straighten that front knee. Pivot both toes to face the right side. Extend the arms up. Toes in, heels out. Inhale. Exhale, fall down to your wide leg, forward bend. Fingertips to the ground. Go walk the hands through or grab the ankles. Ugh. Let's take an inhale, come up for a half lift and start to walk those hands towards the front of the mat, come into a lunge position again. We'll step the right foot up to meet the left. Bend into the knees, shift the weight into the heels. Sweep the ground with your fingertips, extend the arms up, spine nice and long for your Utkatasana, chair pose. Engaging the core here, the belly, solar plexus is down in our belly. Inhale. Exhale, lower down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Staying here in Uttanasana or moving through a vinyasa. Planting the hands on the ground. Step or jump back to plank or modified plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Make your way to down dog. Good. Bring your gaze up in between your hands. Bend your knees. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale. Now we're all in our Uttanasana for full. Let's roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you. Inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center. And down at your sides. Good. Back to Tadasana. From here we'll sweep our arms up. Inhale. Exhale, dive down, Uttanasana. Go ahead and bend the knees, plant the hands down in front of the feet. Step straight back to your down dog. Good. Now from here, bring your feet to about the width of your mat. Start to walk the hands back and we'll come to garland pose or malasana squat. Hands at heart center, elbows inside of knees. And start to lower the hips down. See if you can keep the toes facing forward. It's okay if they come out a little bit. You might be up high or you may be down low. You can also sit on a block or a couple of pillows here if you need to. Lift the chest here. Another great grounding pose. Opening that root chakra. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Lower the hands to the ground. Lift the hips. I'm going to start to walk the hands forward, coming to a plank position. And then we'll lower down to the belly. Keep the hands underneath the shoulders here. Elbows tucked in tight again. Bring the tops of the feet flat. Press the pelvis into the ground. And we'll get ready for a Shalabhasana Locust Pose. So start to lift your chest off the ground. If it feels okay, you can lift your legs as well. And we'll hold for three, two, one, good, relax. And let's do a couple more times. Elbows tucked in tight, press the pelvis into the ground. 
Lift the chest. Lift the legs too if you like. Hold for three, two, one. Relax. Good. Let's do one last time. Elbows tucked in tight, hands on knees, shoulders. Press the pelvis into the ground, lift. You can lift just the hands or the legs as well. Three, two, one. Good, relax. Hands underneath shoulders, elbows tucked in tight again. And then we're gonna float our hips back towards our heels for Balasana, child's pose. Knees wide, big toes together. Melt your chest down towards the space in between the knees. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Make your way to a seated position. However you get there is fine. Then we're going to move into deer pose. So for deer pose, bring your right leg in front, bringing the right shin parallel with the front edge of your mat. Left leg will swing behind you, and the left shin is somewhat parallel with the left edge of the mat. Could bend the knees pretty generously here. Take an inhale. Exhale, start to lower down. Getting a good hip stretch here. You can sit on a pillow if you need a little more support. If this doesn't feel good, feel free to skip it. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, come back up to an upright position, and we'll switch sides. Swing that right leg behind you, left leg is in front, shin parallel to the front edge of the mat. Back leg, shin is somewhat parallel to the right edge. Inhale, exhale, fold. Exhale, come back to an upright position. Swing both legs around in front. Scoot the hips close to the heels and make our way down to our back. Rock side to side a little bit here. Then we'll release the knees, bring the feet flat on the ground. Rest the hands down on either side of the hips and then walk the feet back till you feel the fingertips graze the heels. And we'll start to lift our hips off the ground. We're say to Banda Sarvangasana bridge pose. Make it a ramp from the knees down towards the shoulders. Inhale, hold. Exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Good. Let's widen the feet to either side of our mat. Arms can come out to our sides. We'll just do some windshield wipers here. Let the knees fall from one side to the other. Good. And inhale. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest one last time. Inhale, hold. Exhale, relax down to Shavasana. Feet reaching towards the bottom corners of the mat. 
arms resting at your sides, palms facing upward. Or you can come to a seated position if you like. Just let your body relax and we'll come back to those long, slow breaths we use at the beginning of class. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Second deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Come back to your natural breath. Allowing your body to be relaxed as much as you can. And while you're here, I'll read some new moon in Aries solar eclipse affirmations to you, which you can repeat silently to yourself or aloud. My potential is limitless. All that I need is within me. I am confident worthy and whole. I am here on purpose. I am right where I need to be. Take an inhale, breathe in those affirmations. Exhale, if you're laying down, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Taking a moment to revisit any of the affirmations that may have resonated with you. And also to extend some gratitude towards yourself for practicing self-care and self-love today. When you're ready, roll up to a comfortable seat. And together we'll sweep the arms up, inhale, let the hands meet. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay guys. Thank you for joining me for this new moon in Aries and solar eclipse practice. Of course, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this video. Don't forget to check the link in my description box about joining my channel as a member. And there's also a link down there for Black Yogi Nico Marie merch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.
Peace and love.